Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So, um, yes, this video I was not expecting to make at all, at least not yet. Um, I decided just to throw in a theme park video in here during the week because I think it, you know, it's been, um, I had a Fortnite vid, Fortnite fashion show that came out yesterday. I was going to post a different video today. It was going to be a part two to Drew Says, um, Fortnite, but I was unable to film it the other day, so I had to refilm it, which I believe would be the day you guys are the day before you guys are watching this because it's gonna probably come out tomorrow but I was gonna film it a couple days ago and I was not able to and I wanted to get a couple videos pre-made for the week because I had a lot of stuff going on and so I just decided to make this video and um yeah this is gonna be a really cool video here um it's what is going to replace Dinoland Animal Kingdom so about two days ago of the time that you guys are watching this yesterday of the time of filming this Disney announced that um, Primeval World, which is at Downland USA and Animal Kingdom, is going to be permanently shutting down. It hasn't been running for a while. It did not open with the park. So, yeah, it was a very big speculation, as well as Stitches of Great Escape and Rivers of Light, which is also at the park at Animal Kingdom, Stitches over at Magic Kingdom. I might make a video where I talk more about those when more news gets announced, but here I decided to talk about Dinoland with Primeval World since it's the most interesting. So the thing is, I think they're going to bulldoze it, and I think they're just going to leave it. I think they might put maybe, like, some, like, dinosaur decorations in there. They're going to put some sort of, like, not, like, interactive thing, but, like, a... I don't know. They're going to do something. Maybe a tiny little um, fair ride to put in there as a temporary placeholder. Because Triceratops Spin is still open, which is the other ride in Dinoland USA. And then you have... um the dinosaur, which is not themed to cartoony happy dinosaurs. It's pretty scary. But, um, so, yes, Dinoland USA. What I think is, I think in the next five years we're going to see, and there's going to have Indiana Jones up there. There's two possible things, a Zootopia or a Indiana Jones. Because the, Indi the Zootopia ride is rumored to have the same ride system as, um, Indiana Jones. The Indiana Jones ride uses the same ride system as Dinosaur, which is located here. So that's why I have two possible re-themes. So first is Zootopia. Zootopia is a, would be a mini land, because the ride coming to Shanghai Disneyland, I think would be an exact replica of the land, and it would bring another big IP besides Pandora to the park, especially if they're making a sequel. I believe that they said they're not going to bring Zootopia, but that's about Pandora, and look at Pandora. They can have some sort of way to educate while you're walking through Zootopia. It can It's going to be really cool, I think, what they could do with it. It would be like a police car, kind of like... And then, where Primeval World and the other area would be... Would be um, maybe a flat ride in there. They could re-theme Triceratops Spin as well to make it like some other ride. But where Primeval World was, it could be a restaurant or a store. Or they could even possibly re-theme that, but I do not think they're going to. But I'm saying that this would be the next five years. Until then, I think they're going to have some filler area to put in Primeval World. Because I don't think they're just going to keep up a big piece of metal if they're not going to use it and let it, like, rot. The next is Indiana Jones. This is probably the most likely, and I would give this, like, if I had to say, 80% chance of happening in the park. It's been rumored for a while that Indiana Jones will be retheming this um, dinosaur. And Primeval World will be destroyed but replaced with the Indiana Jones roller coaster from Disneyland Paris that has like the single loop. They could even make some alterations to it. It could be the Indiana Jones area that never ended up happening at the Magic Kingdom that they wanted to have, or Disneyland as well. There was a room to have this huge indoor Indiana Jones area that would have several rides. Jungle Cruise would even, when it's going on the back side of water, it would actually be going in the middle of the land. There was so many rumors for that to happen at Disneyland and Magic Kingdom. But they're eventually scrapped a couple months after due to the failure of Euro Disney. But um, now this is their perfect chance to Animal Kingdom. Indiana Jones fits pretty good in that area. You know, he's like in the jungle. I don't know, though, if they were going to, because I think they like animals and Indiana, you know. I think Zootopia might, I don't, I, I just really think, they, if they wanted to keep Dinosaur, let's just say they wanted to, there is a way that they could make a mini Indiana Jones area only taking up the Dinoland USA area and having Dinosaur the Ride being its own separate thing 
and or they could do the same thing with Zootopia, making Zootopia that dinosaur ride, but keeping the fair dinosaur. Because I think they really want to keep dinosaurs because that's like a land that's pop. You know, it's an indoor ride, so they're not just going to bulldoze it. I think it's going to be most likely a retheme, but since they're now working on Princess and the Frogs thing, Splash, I mean, yeah, the Splash Mountain retheme, um, they're working on Tron, working on Remy's Ratatouille Adventure, and as we know, the Mary Poppins attraction and Epcot, um, the Globe ride, Spaceship Earth, both got postponed or even cancelled to be in the new overhaul, as well as the three, Epcot is just a mess right now, by the way, I'm gonna make my own video on that later, but, um, yeah, the, I'm just saying, what's going to replace it? I think Indiana Jones, honestly, because something is going to replace it. Disney is not just going to leave a big, empty, concrete area in the middle of the land. Donald's Dino Bash was supposed to be temporary, and this is what I think I mean by it. So, um, yeah, and by the way, I did take the photo in the background, so, no, really, you know. But if you guys want to, um, before we get to the end here, if you guys want to um, check out my merch store, it will be the first link down below. We have brand new merchandise, like $2 pins that are only going to be available for, like, another... 10 or so days of the time of you guys seeing this because they're only available to the end of July. They're only two bucks. We have face masks as well that are going to be in the shop. We have many things. We use T Public, so they partner. And if you buy a face mask, they donate some to the um to the fund to help um people that can't afford masks because the world right now is bad. So it goes some percentage of it goes to a nice cause. So you might as well do you know help it out. We also have um. A Discord, which you guys can join viewer games. If you guys want to be in the video I posted yesterday, or the video that you're going to probably see tomorrow. Could be later. Don't know. But, um, if you guys want to be in those videos, make sure to join the Discord. Instagram, we post anything bar photos and news updates, as well as channel updates. So, you make sure you want to be on that. It will be also down in the description. And, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching this nice little short video of what is going to replace Dinoland USA at Animal Kingdom. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.